Hi and uh, welcome to Oz Workshop. Uh, I'm Rob Hull. Uh, just a quick uh, video today. I thought I would um, just show you. Um, sometimes we have a, a lot of old tools hanging around or damaged tools or uh, stuff that we haven't used. I've had one that uh, in a drawer. It's an old, very old um, screwdriver. Um, it was a flat bladed square end screwdriver uh, with a solid steel um, end on it. Uh, I don't know where I got it, but it's been rattling around in my drawer for ages. And something I saw both on Cindy Drozer and uh, uh, Captain Eddie. Um, uh, Cindy was showing her new um, uh, fine uh, tool uh, for doing finials and things like that. And uh, Captain Eddie also um, talked about getting a bit of uh, a scrap rod and uh, making your own tools. And I thought, well, here's a good opportunity to turn an old um, screwdriver into a, um, a tool and um, I don't know if you can see that I'll try and put it out out there which is the background but that gives you an idea all I've done is is taken it was actually broken the, the tip was broken so I've taken it to the grinder and uh, we've just put a uh, just basically a, 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 a tip on that and then we've put a grind on it now it's, it's at the flat of, of the screwdriver, so, um, and I don't know how well you can see that. Um, if so I just rotate that tip around, you can see where I've ground that back a bit. And obviously as we go, as, it, as we grind it back, it's going to get thicker in there. Uh, and I thought, I can still use that, um, and it works quite well. So I'll just demonstrate, uh, just cutting a little bit, just to show you how well it works. Um, and it's, uh, it's worked out very well. And I'm happy to have it as part of my of my arsenal. Um, and so we'll show you how it goes. Now we've sped the bit the video up at this stage, but you'll get a good idea of how well it cuts. It's only, I'm only cutting pine, um, but it just shaves it beautifully. And being so small a tool and and, uh, and narrow, it gets into very tight spaces. I'm creating a ring on here, and you'll see. Um, how well it undercuts and that's because of its small profile uh, it gets in there very easily and the edges um, ground the way they are um, can, uh, are good for scraping as well as you see, it, it undercut that uh, ring quite easily. And being that it's got a small bevel on it, the same principles apply just uh, to ride the bevel and, and uh, give you a very clean cut. I wouldn't normally, you know, scrape off the the straight section but I'm just showing that the, the whole thing can be used just with the one tool it's a, a very small piece it's only about an inch and a half long and there we go So there we go, uh, it just shows you a little captured ring can be done with a screwdriver. So remember guys, don't throw out those tools, just think outside the box, think what else you can use them for and what they can become. This has become a very valuable tool now in my toolkit. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again.